Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is White Boy 7th Street here bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops Domination Ground War on the map stadium using a Gleal trying extremely hard, but let me give you a little bit of background information on this gameplay before I get to the subject that I want to talk about in this video. So, we're using a Gleal because I want to win this game. And if you're not familiar with PlayStation Ground War, uh, not too many players play the objective and we are going to be facing a clan of nine, I believe, the Guns Clan, and I want to pull off the victory. Wait! One, two, three, triple kill defense on the B flag. I thought this gameplay was a pretty action-packed gameplay, as well as a really good objective base. I get a lot of defense, a lot of captures. It's really close, so you guys will enjoy it. But like I was saying earlier, people don't play the objective too much on Ground or PS3. There's too many explosions going off, and people are worrying about their precious KD. Luckily, this guy was on the B flag. And unfortunately, there was a mortar strike on the B flag as well, so I got a little anxious. I wanted to capture the flag. I rather prioritize the flag cap rather than uh, my own life right there. So you can just that that sets the tone for uh, this gameplay. And just look at defense, 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 do do defense. Anyways, so uh, th this is a really close game, and I, I need to pull out the Galil to to have a have a ch shot because it's basically one v nine, and I gotta. I do what I gotta do. So, and then again, the PlayStation Network is down and I ran out of my inventory of unorthodox credit class combinations of gameplays and ooh, fun RC car, wee! You can tell I don't use this too much. I'm, don't drink and drive because this is the side effects. You're just gonna do horrible with RC cars and maybe real life cars and you might crash and you don't want to do that. So, actually I got a RC car from the a Black Ops Prestige Edition and the ghillie suit. I don't, I don't know. I was thinking about making a real life video with those two, but I just can't think of an idea right now. Speaking of real life videos, that's one of the things I want to talk about. Am I talking about? A, am I talking at an extremely high rate of words per minute right now? How many words per minute can you type? It doesn't matter how many words per minute can you can type, unless you're applying for a job and you got to write that down on your resume. Maybe that works. So. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, I, I've been doing a lot of real life videos and I've been getting a real positive response and it feels good, this little break from the PlayStation Network. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I've been gaming for like three years straight and to have a week off of gaming, I don't know, it feels refreshing. It feels like I really want to play Black Ops when it does come out. I'm going to be playing the map pack as well, so I think it's perfect timing. And I've been doing real life videos and you guys seem to really enjoy the real life videos. Not too many people in this community make real life videos and... I, I th I'm, you know, branching off. It's something new. It's something different. And I didn't know what people would think of them. But you guys have been giving me a lot of support. So if you feel free to leave a comment below if you like the real life videos, if you want to see more. I'm actually going to shoot one tomorrow about the PlayStation Network being down. Part 2 of Life Without a PS3. You guys, I don't know. It, it seems like I get a lot of support on the real life videos. So I want to do it. And it's fun. It's different than making a Call of Duty commentary. Basically, all you got to do is... Get a gameplay and talk over it, but this one you gotta edit, get different shots, think of the idea, film, and it, I don't know, it's different and it, it's a lot of fun doing. I have fun editing it and I have fun, you know, seeing you guys' feedback. I have a lot of fun shooting, I improvise a lot, and uh, I don't know. So, w what I did want to talk about is the whopping milestone of 400,000 subscribers, and it's crazy. Last year during Modern Warfare 2, I would make thank you videos. I'm not Grizz, baby. What the heck was that thing? Am I stupid? <laughs> I don't know. I, w I always wanted to bounce the tomahawk off the, the world. See, look at me capturing B flags like a champion. It's so difficult to capture B flag on this map. It's just so grenade, grenade, grenade. That's why I run flak jacket in uh, ground world pretty much exclusively because I'm a, a objective player. So, anyways, these people are burning. Uh, that doesn't look good. We need a fire extinguisher. And you guys say I say extinguisher. I can't say that word. Maybe I, I try to say it, but when I do try to say it, you guys say I say it funny. So, like I was talking about earlier, 400,000 subscribers. And in Modern Warfare 2, I would thank you guys for each 10,000 subscribers. Now it, it's crazy. Now it's every 10,000, uh, 100,000. And I get like 10,000 in, in four days. So these numbers are just mind bog boggling. Thank you to all the new subscribers who, who came along. And uh, for the old subscribers, you guys know, you guys can relate to me more because you guys know the story and the silliness of mine. But if you're a new subscriber, uh, pre be prepared for some shenanigans and some outrageous stuff. I say a lot of weird uh, uh, things. And if you want to look over some of my old videos, you kind of get a, a glimpse of me. Because I don't think you guys, uh, some of the newer subscribers, 
really know the like all the inside jokes of you know cock sucking gypsy and are you stupid and i mean there's just so many inside jokes that you might not know if you're a, a new subscriber so there's a lot of good videos if you guys want to check that out but anyways so four hundred thousand. it's it's been so crazy to see my channel grown like i was recording with a camera i was pretty much borderline poor you know i was you know eating rainbow noodles and stuff and i know i've been thanking you guys a lot and i don't want this channel just to be thank you thank you and thank you but i've been you know this is the best time of my life hands down and, and it feels just really really good summer's coming up i'm about to be 21 i'm playing ring around the rosie with this guy getting more strikes capturing objective flags and stuff and but it, it is literally the best time of my life and i could not have done it without you guys to support I, oh, another triple feed? Another one! <laughs> but, like, seriously, it's the best time of my life. I'm going to be on airplanes flying out to California. And, you know, I'm starting to have a life again. I'm talking to this nice, nice lady. And it's just like, it, almost everything is going right. And I, I don't know why I'm fortunate. Like, I was talking to a, a friend that, actually, my next door neighbor... He, he, like, came across my videos because one of them were on the homepage, one of the real-life videos recently, like, Life Without the PS3, and I can't thank you guys enough for... Oh, I just took... See, I, I put a, a mortar strike back there to the, destroy the turret because I'm just... That's how big of a team player I was in this game. But, like I was saying, like, one of my, my neighbors found my, my videos on the homepage, and, you know, that's a tremendous honor to get a gaming channel on the homepage. Because, to be honest, gaming as a YouTube category isn't respected by YouTube. I know it's respected by the YouTubers now. But as, for YouTube, it's next to pets and animals, nonprofits and activism and traveling events. And, uh, you know, those categories, nothing's wrong with them. But in terms of gaming, gaming's like the single biggest category on YouTube. So... To get one of the, you know, underrated categories on the homepage, it's only going to be, you know, doing well for the community and get us more respect and hopefully a, a spot on the homepage. But anyway, so his girlfriend was one of my friends in, in high school and we just met up and I don't know, like, it's just, it's so cool to see where YouTube is taking me and like, just to see like my, my next door neighbor's girlfriend, which was one of my friends in high school, which we would have probably never met. Unless I was doing YouTube videos, uh, you know it's pretty crazy. We had a, a nice little conversation, and just, just man, it's YouTube is so wonderful for me, and I'm starting to have a life again, and it's just, it's, it's a great time in my life. So I guys can't, I can't thank you guys enough for 400,000 subscribers, the, the opportunity that you have given me, uh, just the luxury of living life how I want to live it. I can't thank you guys enough, and yeah, so I love you guys. Thanks for the support, and I will see you tomorrow, and uh, let me know if you like the skit videos or not. Or, one question, I know this video is over, but if you, if you could change one thing about this channel, what would you change, or would you not change anything? Would you like to see me do anything different? I'm always looking for constructive criticism. I will be taking all comments into consideration. That's a lot of C's to end this commentary that also starts with a C, and I will see you guys later.